When Philemon had finished, the dead remained silent and did not move, but looked at Philemon with expectation. But when Philemon saw that the dead remained silent and waited, he continued, and this is the sixth sermon to the dead. The demon of sexuality approaches our soul as a serpent. She is half she is she is half human she is half human soul and called thought desire. The demon of spirituality descends into our soul as the white bird. He is half human soul and is called desire thought. The serpent is an earthly soul, half demonic, a spirit, and akin to the spirits of the dead. Thus, too, like these, she swarms around in the things of the earth, making us fear them or else having them arouse our craving. The serpent has a female nature, forever seeking the company of those dead who are spellbound by the earth and who did not find a way across to singleness. The serpent is a whore. She courts the devil and evil spirit. She is a mischievous tyrant and tormentor, forever in bailing the most evil company. The white bird is a half-celestial soul of man. He abides with the mother, descending from time to time. The bird is manlike and is effective thought. He is chaste and solitary, a messenger of the mother. He flies high above the earth. He commands singleness. He brings knowledge from the distant ones who have departed before and attained perfection. He bears, up word, he bears word up to the mother. She intercedes, she warns, but she is powerless against the gods. She is a vessel of the sun. The serpent descends and cunningly lames the phallic demon, or else goads on him, goads him on. She bears up the two crafty thoughts of the earthly, those thoughts that creep through every hole and cleave to all things with craving. Although the serpent does not want to, she must be of use to us. She flees our grasp, thus showing us the way which our human wits could not find. When Philemon had finished, the dead looked on with contempt and said, Cease this talk of gods and demons and souls. We have known this for a long time. But Philemon smiled and replied, You poor souls, poor in flesh and rich in spirit. The meat was fat and the spirit thin. But how did you reach the eternal light? You mock my stupidity, which you two possess. You mock yourselves. Knowledge frees one from danger, but mockery is the other side of your belief. Is black less than white? You reject faith and retained mockery. Are you thus saved from faith? No, you bound yourselves to mockery and hence again to faith, and therefore you are miserable. But the dead were outraged and cried, We are not miserable, we are clever. Our thinking and feeling is as pure as clear water. We praise our reason. We mock superstition. Do you believe that your old folly reaches us? A childish delusion has overcome you, old one. What good is it to us? Philemon replied, What can you do any good? I free you from what still holds you to the shadow of life. Take this wisdom with you. Add this folly to your cleverness, this unreason to your reason. You will find, and you will find yourselves. If you were men, you would then begin your life, and your life's way began between reason and unreason and live onward to the eternal light whose shadow you lived in advance but since you are dead this knowledge frees you from life and strips you of your greed for men and also frees yourself from the shrouds that the light and the shadow lay upon you compassion with men will overcome you and from the stream you will reach solid ground you will step forth from the eternal world onto the unmoving stone of rest the circle that breaks flowing duration, the flames will die down. I have fanned a glowing fire. I have given the murderer a knife. I have torn open, healed over wounds. I have quickened all movement. I have given the madman more intoxicating drink. I have made the cold colder, the heat hotter, falseness even falser, goodness even better, weakness even weaker. This knowledge is the axe of the sacrificer. But the dead cried, your wisdom is foolishness and a curse. You want to turn the wheel back? It will tear you apart, blinded one. Philemon replied, So this is what happened. The earth became green and fruitful again from the blood of the sacrifice. Flowers sprouted, the waves crashed into the sand. A silver cloud lies at the foot of the mountain. A bird of the soul came to men. The hoe sounds in the fields and the axe in the forest. A wind rushes through the trees and the sun shimmers in the dew of the risen morning. The planets hold the birth. 
out of the earth climbed the many armed the stones speak and the grass whispers man found himself and the gods wander through heaven the fullness gives birth to the golden drop the golden seed plumed and hovering the dead fell silent and stared at philemon and slowly crept away but philemon bent down to the ground and said it is accomplished but not fulfilled fruit of the earth sprout rise up and heaven pour out the water of life then philemon disappeared. <laughs>